Hi right, everybody, how you doing? We're gonna have another project, another video. Uh, this time we're going to check what's going on with the furnace. It's uh, early October and here in this part of Florida it gets pretty cold. So we're going to see what's going on. Stay tuned. Well, for this project, we're gonna have to remove the screws. We're gonna have to remove this and Try to figure it out what the problem is. You only hear a click, but it doesn't light up. So let's see what can we find. Well, there is an on and off button on the back. So I just turn it off so I can go inside and well, make this video. So I'm gonna turn it on and see if we have a noise or something. hear the, the clicking I can smell gas but it doesn't it doesn't light up let's hear one more time it should kick again there you go that's something with the spark so let's turn it off and try to get it out I don't know if someone did work on this before but there were some weak nuts on these connections so I just take everything off isolate it because it looks like this is coming from inside the RB I'm gonna disconnect the gas line so you will make sure to shut off the gas and uh, there were two screws here because this thing has to maneuver in order to go to the back and disconnect all the lines the airlines or whatever you call it so I will show you in a minute how that can be done so let's see on the inside we're gonna have to take this panel so let's get started now we're gonna take the those clamps on each side take the air ducts and try to get it out now the reason why with this we took the first two screws of the front so that way you can move it left and right then you have to take these uh, connectors and I just label them like left front because you're gonna have to twist it and take them out so now let's go to the front and try to get this baby out okay gas line is disconnected all the wires in between are disconnected so we're gonna try to pull this out and see what the problem is so let's get it done all right so it's out it's actually it was pretty easy it just came out from there so I saw in another video that you can take this type of grill. I'm gonna take some pictures of the specifications in case I have to replace it. But hopefully not, so let's see what we can find. All right, so like I said, I saw another video that they took this piece out in one piece. So here we go. There it is. I'm gonna sit it right here. That was pretty, pretty simple. And as you can see in here, please, it's my wife happy. You can see all the components. So I'm gonna try to take this piece off and see what the problem is with the igniter. So in order to take this, this piece out, there is some type of bolts underneath that 
and uh, I'm the type of person who hates to ask for tools so I just got this set uh, at Harbor Freight so I'm gonna put this in here and take it out so that should be a piece of cake All right, let's see. There you go. Now it's loose. So if you if you own an RV, I highly recommend you to get the, all the proper tools. You never know when you're gonna need it. So I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna keep looking for a problem once again this is the set I don't even know what's the name of it their metric it's called crowdfoot wrench set pretty handy all right pieces out got all the screws there this is what it looks like it looks like gas it's coming out through that little hole it looks kind of clogged to me You're supposed to see it through so I don't know we might have to that probably is clogged so we'll, we'll see well I just kind of blow through this pipe and it felt something is stuck inside so I'm wondering that would, if that was the problem so we have the igniter right there so I'm gonna see if there's a way that I can test it with like a battery or something as you can see there it's with it makes contact with the burner I'm assuming it is but once again once I blew through this pipe I felt something stuck in there so let's see so this is the control panel <coughs> You can disconnect this over here this is the igniter that goes all the way here but i don't see a way that i can test it so i'm just gonna put it back in without the cover connect the wires and and see how the sparks or the spark looks like if there is any spark because i don't i don't see a way and i can find any video where you can actually test that and uh, again I'm not a technician I'm just trying to save some money so let's see what we came up with so what I did it's move my table closer to the connections connect everything I got the on button right here and let's see if there's a spark so see what we have where is the air okay a lot of stuff might blow out because the cover is not in so let's move everything out of the way and let's see this way again Oh, see if there's no spark. There it is. It's gone. Alright. I did is I did adjust the igniter 
So now let's put everything back together and fire up. Okay, we just put everything back together. Screws, tight the bolt in the bottom. So we're gonna put it back on the grill, secure everything, and put it back on. So stick around. Now I forgot to mention, this is the back side of the furnace and uh, it looks like this was taken out before and there is a screw missing over here that I'm, I'm just gonna put in so just so you know when you take it apart you must take the back cover and find this screw there is one on the front and one on the one on the back and one on the front by the motor I'll show it to you in a minute all right this will be the one on the front front this little one will be the one in the back everything is back in place we're gonna connect the gas line we're gonna connect the wires uh, this is very important before you close this uh, door you have to go to the back connect the uh, the air ducts because you're gonna have to wiggle this thing back and forth then you put the two screws back in and then you can close it very important because I I don't think I want to be able to to connect everything if this is already in place so very important don't forget the the yellow tip I mean safety first Whenever you're gonna tie the gas line, just make sure to use uh, another one to, to make a support, because you know, this is copper, so you don't wanna break it. So one is to hold it, and the other one is to tie it. Uh, if you can see. There you go. In a different video, uh, these wires, they don't look cut and like put it back together. And because I noticed that there was a couple screws missing inside the the, the grill, uh, it looks like someone already worked on this. So if you want to cut these cables, just make sure. I mean, they're all different, so I don't think you will have a problem. So now everything looks normal, connected. So make sure there is no uh, gas leak. I'm just gonna use a little bit of soap just to make sure everything is good and, uh, and see how it works. Oh, we gotta connect the back. So, we'll see. So this is old school, a little bit of soap to see if there's any bubbles. I don't see any. So, gas line is good. We should be ready to connect the the air ducts and fire up. Well, it's working fine. Pretty hot. I don't know if you can hear the flame inside. Well, another good project. Happy camping.